What's going on guys? Welcome to another Magic Arena video. Today we are going to try another deck that we have found on Aetherhub.com, which is Simic Aggro. So it's a play off of the original Mono Blue Aggro deck that actually does super, super well. Uh, I don't know how it's doing lately. Uh, obviously with War of the Spark coming in, I don't know if it stayed kind of at its peak or if it's kind of heading downhill. I haven't really looked into the full metagame quite yet, but uh, this very much plays off of the same uh, idea. So we do have the Curious Obsession with the Pateramander as uh, kind of the main avenue to jumpstart this. So uh, throw a Pateramander out next turn, throw the Obsession on top of it, and then start swinging in uh, and start drawing a lot of cards. It's actually really, really nice. Gets you a lot of card advantage, which is fantastic. Um, this also does run uh, Augur of Bolas to help us dig a little bit for instants and sorceries. And then as far as creatures go, the other big one here is Deep Root Champion. So uh, Deep Root Champion is kind of the reason I think this deck was put together. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one for 2, but whenever you cast a non-creature spell, so any non-creature, not just instants and sorceries, uh, you do put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on the Deep Root Champion. Uh, this is actually really, really nice because we've got a lot of non-creature spells. So obviously opt, dive down, pretty obvious choices here. Spell pierce for a little bit of interaction, uh, especially in the early turns of the game where we're hoping to kind of establish our, ourselves as the leading presence in the game. Uh, we do have adventurous impulse, uh, which is a good way to kind of dig for creatures or lands, depending on what you need. Uh, open the gates same basic principle pulling out those basic land cards are really really helpful especially in this deck and we'll talk about why in just a second uh anticipate is also in here it's fine uh, i mean it's a two mana look at the top three so you do get to see a large number of cards for only two mana which is good uh but in general it's kind of shied away from in standard in my opinion but we'll see how this goes uh callous dismissal is a really good way to put some onboard presence uh, while gaining a little bit of tempo. So you do a mass one, uh, but on top of that, you bounce a non-land permanent, and that is non-land permanent, not just creature. Uh, and so that can be planeswalkers, it can be enchantments, artifacts, any kind of thing that you need to bounce. The dismissal is really, really good for that. So really, really like that. Uh, it does have Hadana's Climb, again, as another way to boost up these creatures. So just giving plus one, plus one counters uh, at the start of combat, and then being able to flip this and then really, really start to power stuff up uh, with the Wing Temple of Arazka. Really, really sweet there as well. Uh, Tamio is also in this deck, uh, and I do really like Tamio in this. So it's definitely top of the curve here, but uh, it lets you dig through at four cards at a time and really be able to pull out anything that you need. So you can even, uh, even as soon as you play her, pull something out from the graveyard if need be, which is really helpful. Uh, I've actually found Tamiyo to be great in multiple different strategies. Uh, I did a Sultai list which featured Tamiyo and she was really, really good there. Uh, so I like her quite a lot. I'm excited to see how she does. Uh, but then the really interesting part of this is that we are running very, very few lands. Uh, so we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 lands, uh, which obviously is very far below average for a deck like this. But uh, again, with Open the Gates and the Impulse here, uh, we are expecting to be able to pull out some of the lands uh, pretty easily, and we really only need two to get going. Uh, if we can get a Champion out or a Pateramander out, we can really start to opt, uh, maybe Spell Pierce a thing or two, and then anticipate and uh, Callous Dismissal anything that they do. So uh, ideally, we're able to do anything that we need to with only two, maybe three lands. Uh, and so as long as we have one or two in our opening hand, we're usually pretty set. Uh, I did play one or two games with this, but I've not played very many, so I'm kind of excited to see how this goes. Um, I don't necessarily think this is the most well-positioned deck, uh, but it was. It just kind of caught my eye as something that was a little bit interesting, and it's a new take on that mono blue deck. So I thought I'd give it a shot, and we'll see how it goes, but uh, we will do our normal uh, three games, just casual games with this deck, so we'll see how things go. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into game one. All right, here we are for game one with this Simic aggro deck. Again, really, really focused on uh, just getting some early game creatures out and then boosting them up and dealing a lot of damage early. Uh, this is a, let's see, I th I don't love this opening hand. One thing I'm gonna do really quick also, uh, yeah, okay, so we are down lower, okay. Um, so I don't love this hand uh, just because we don't have really a turn one play with only the Hinterland Harbor, but it is both colors of mana. We need just one to get started, so 
as much as I would rather not keep this uh, in a land in a deck with only 14 lands, I think we kind of have to. Um, so we'll go with it. It does have a number of cards that are going to help us dig and hopefully uh, find something worthwhile with either open the gates or uh, impulse. And then we can also get that Pateramander online uh, turn two if we would like. So we'll see what we draw. That'll kind of determine what we decide to do. But um, especially what the opponent is doing, which it looks like they're kind of taking a while. Uh, they did mulligan down to six. I wonder if they're deciding if not uh, to go down to five or not. We will see. Um, I would be interested also, uh, I know we've had a lot more viewership on these uh, gameplay videos, which is awesome, and we really appreciate you guys watching, but if you have deck suggestions, uh, if you've got a list or something online that you'd like to see us play, uh, please leave it in the comment section. We'd actually love to do that. Uh, we did post on Instagram asking everyone if there was a deck suggestion that they had, if they'd feel free to share, um, and we actually got a number of responses, so we do have plans to build some of those excuse me, and uh, hopefully see what comes out of it. Uh, I wonder what's going on here, though. They are just not doing anything. Um, if need be, I will skip ahead uh, to the next game if they're just not there. Um, I mean, they did actively choose to mulligan down to six, so I have to assume that they're there. Um, they just might be taking a while. Uh, let's see. Okay, so they are just taking a while. Um, okay. All right, so turn one, we did draw Deep Root Champion, uh, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and play the Hinterland Harbor and pass. Hopefully drawing a second land, that would be ideal, because uh, then we can either open the gates or Adventurous Impulse as well as Pateramander, which would be just super, super ideal. Um, or we could deep root champion. Uh, let's see. Um, I think what we will do is go ahead and throw out the Pateramander for now. Uh, just to get something on board here that we can, if we draw the Curious Obsession, we'd really like to be able to swing in and start drawing extra cards. So that's why I, I favor the Pateramander over, say, an Open the Gates, which is going to help us get another land. It's very realistic for them to take the Open the Gates here. Uh, or the Deep Root Champion, I feel like. They don't want us getting more lands, so the Open the Gates is definitely a high priority, but Deep Root Champion, if we do get a land, is obviously very, very good. Uh, so we'll see what they have in store for us here. Um, they could take Tamiyo, but I don't really know that they should. We're very far away from actually casting it, uh, and on top of that, we have a backup. So unless they've got a second... Uh, Hand Destruction Source, okay, and they very well might. Um, we will see. They did decide to take Tamiyo and then Graveyard the card on top. Uh, and it looks like it is just Esper kind of control. Uh, we're not going to block here. Again, we really want to get a Curious Obsession if we could. Um, all right, so we will go ahead, open the gates, and... Um, which is really a big card. Again, I'm kind of a, a little surprised they didn't take it. I'll go ahead and get an island here. Um, that way we can opt. Uh, possible we could have gotten green to do the adventurous impulse, but really we're kind of hoping to get um, the curious obsession before we get anything else. So I'm going to bottom this. Uh, and we do draw a Hinterland Harbor. Okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and attack here. Um, I don't expect to be blocking with the Pateramander very often, and so I might as well get the damage in while I can. Uh, I can Callus Dismissal next turn if need be. I um, also have that Deep Root Champion along with the Impulse, which is a perfectly reasonable option. Uh, Hadana's Climb is good, but do I want to do that now? I don't really think so. Um, I think what I'll do... I'm going to go ahead and move to attacks and swing in uh, just to see if they're going to do anything about this. They very well may not, which is perfectly fine. They know most of our hand, uh, so it's not a surprise. We'll go ahead and throw the Deep Root Champion out because I do want to get this online as quickly as possible. They very well may have a counter here. Um, 
in which case we still will adventurous impulse yeah okay so we'll go ahead and do this uh get a counter on the champion unless they're going to remove it now okay and they are so next turn the plan is what so we do get another deep root champion here um we're definitely under a good bit of pressure here, uh, but we do have a number of turns if need be to kind of even things out. Uh, it just depends. I think if we draw a land, we have the option of either playing Tamiyo or playing two, like Callus Dismissal plus Deep Root Champion, not in that order, uh, to get not only a token out, but also bounce uh, something of theirs. So they're going to destroy Pateramander, which is unfortunate. So now we bounce the token if we're going to draw that, but it looks like we're not, which kind of sucks. Um, so, ugh, I don't love this, but I'm going to go ahead and play the Deep Root Champion here um, and then open the gates to get a counter on it. And then if need be, we'll figure out, uh, we'll go ahead and get a forest. Go ahead and play that forest and then see what they've got. They're definitely swinging in with a zombie token, no doubt. Potentially swinging in with everything else. Okay. So do I want to trade this off now? I think I kind of have to. Um, it's very possible they're just going to kill it here, but they are not. I just can't have them gaining more tokens. Uh, and so that's just the best option we have, I think, at this point. Um, that's definitely not good. Ugh, and there's the Curious Obsession. Um, so here, we have to do this. Uh, there's just no doubt about it. Return that to the hand that's going to get rid of it. We do get a token that's going to be able to chump here. Uh, but I think, yeah, we're just going to lose this because they're going to be able to deal four to us. So unfortunately, I think that's actually it. Um, we can Curious Obsession, but yeah, unfortunately that's going to be it. Uh, game one, not so good. Really the, the downside to this deck is the lack of mana, I feel like, uh, and the lack of just board control. Um, this is an interesting one. I feel like if you can really get a good opener hand, you're going to be really, really well set. If you can't, I feel like you just lose momentum really, really quickly. So We'll see how it goes in game two. Uh, again, this was pulled from Aether Hub, so I just thought it was an interesting list. Hopefully you guys do too, but we will see what happens. All right, guys, game two with this Simic aggro deck, uh, really featuring Deep Root Champion and things like that. We will see uh, what we get here. Again, I don't love this, um, but it does have a land in the opening hand, and we will be able to spin for more lands, which I do like. And we can even chain these open the gates on turn two, which I do think makes that worth it. So I'm, I'm going to say we keep this. Um, I may be keeping improper hands here. I'm really not sure. Uh, unfortunately, just because I've never really... I mean, I played this deck like twice, so I really don't know for sure if that's correct or not. Uh, but I feel like being able to chain these open the gates into more and more basics is going to be great. Um and we will see. Okay, so we'll open the gates. Uh, and we will pull an island here because we will need more islands than anything else. Uh, we want to go ahead and get that online. Um, obviously, we could have chained into a forest, but um, I guess that probably would have been better. That way we could have chained. My bad. My mistake. I literally just talked about it and then didn't do it, but that's okay. Um we will see how things go on the next turn. Uh, we do have Spell Pierce up, uh, but unfortunately they are definitely just Boros aggro. It's probably that Feather deck that we've seen a good bit of uh, already. Um, I feel like this deck just needs a lot more creature or like board presence. Like there's just not much there, uh, which kind of sucks <laughs> to be honest. Um, so we'll play this. We'll auger a bolus, see what we get on top. We'll get a dive down. Uh, we will play, Oop, can we Can we do it? There we go, sorry, a little bit laggy. Uh, we'll play that. So I can Curious Obsession. 
I don't like that. Uh, if you didn't attack with a creature, you sacrifice the obsession anyway. So I think we'll open the gates now. Um, for a forest. Uh, and then it is their turn. They're obviously going to swing in with both, which definitely is not great. Uh, but next turn we can just suit up uh, Curious Obsessions on this guy if we really want to. Um, oh, that's so bad. So much damage. Um, and it mentors. Oh, so it's nine. That is a lot of damage. Uh, but we need the creature. I mean, unfortunately, I just don't think we can block yet. Um, but we're really not going to be in a good place, that's for sure. Uh, we are one attack away from losing this one. Uh, so what can we do here? So we can play Pteramander and two Curious Obsessions if we would like. Uh, that leaves us with, I guess, our best option here. Um, we unfortunately just cannot take hits. This is going to start plussing everything, right? Yeah. So I think we have to do this. Um, and then, but if we play Curious Obsession, then we just lose it. So I think we have to dive down, uh, which is not going to do that much, but, um, we'll see how things go. I think we've just lost this one as well, unfortunately. This deck does not seem ideal. I do not particularly like this deck. Uh, the Mono Blue Aggro deck is great. It's just super, super efficient, really deals the damage on early. Uh, but unfortunately, this one just does not seem like it's there for it. Um, and maybe I'm playing it wrong. It's 100% possible I'm playing it wrong, so I do, uh, I'll throw that out there. But um, I don't know. I just don't feel like this is any better at all <laughs> than the mono blue version of this. Um, so that's going to mentor, resolve that. Uh We'll pass. And I mean, we can do this, but it doesn't actually matter. And I mean, yeah, we'll save some, some damage here, but it's not going to matter at all. Uh, especially if they have a burn spell, because they can just burn this here. This is such a a silly play. Uh, really don't like this one at all, unfortunately. This just seems bad. And this doesn't even get us out of that one. That's just going to die anyway. Ugh. Yeah. Unfortunately, this just seems kind of bad. Uh, I don't think that there's a way we can get out of this one. So we can Deep Root Champion, Curious Obsession... Curious Obsession, but that doesn't do it. Yeah, unfortunately, we lose game two as well. This deck just, unfortunately, it doesn't seem very good. <laughs> it really just doesn't. Um, I've kind of enjoyed going to Aether Hub and just trying out different decks. That's where I've found a lot of the lists that we've already gone over. Some of them seem great. Uh, I really liked the Grixis Bolus list that we did last time, but unfortunately, this one is not there. But we will give it a game three. Hopefully, we can get uh, a win up with this game, but I do think we're going to have to get a little bit lucky. So, Let's go ahead and jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game three with the Simic aggro list. Unfortunately, not one that I'm super stoked about, but uh, we will see what we can do here. Um, weirdly, I kind of like this hand. So we can turn one, open the gates, uh, turn two, Callus Dismissal, depending on what their play is, and then maybe start gaining advantage that way. Uh, we do also have the Impulse, which is going to help us dig a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to keep... Um, and I think, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. And I think we'll pull out an island uh, for now. That way we won't have to take two damage next turn to leave up uh, the dismissal. Okay, they're not going to do it. So in that instance, I think I'm going to impulse. We've obviously got plenty of land for a while, so open the gate, not super important. Uh, unfortunately, we whiff. Ugh, that feels bad. Um... And we'll just play this, enter it tapped. Uh, we could open the gates now, but I don't really think there's a need to. Uh, I don't think it's worth taking that two damage yet. 
Um, my assumption is that they're playing some kind of control list. Uh, we'll go ahead and open the gates first. And we'll pull out an island. Uh, and then we will breeding pool, tapped. Get all these tap lands out of our hand. That way uh, we aren't taking two damage from it. And we'll see what they've got. Um, they are going to Thought Erasure, so they're going to get a Dismissal. <laughs> Obviously nothing else to get. Um, which is, I guess, good and bad. I mean, if we draw the creature spell, um, I feel okay because... Well, I don't really, though, I guess, because they're probably going to be pretty heavy on the removal side of things. So we'll play an island, we'll play a champion, um, and then we will pass. Uh, hopefully they don't have removal, <laughs> um, but they're in black. They're going to have removal. Um, this just seems, yeah, it seems like we're setting ourselves up a little bit for failure. Yeah, cast down it, not good. Uh, we do have spell pierce now, that's interesting. Oops. Can we get it out? There we go. Okay. Uh, and we pass. I mean, we're well ahead of them in terms of land count, so that's one way we're not completely losing. Um, <laughs> so this, I'm actually okay with. We'll dismissal this. Um, and then we will go ahead and impulse here. Unfortunately, not getting anything. Obviously, uh, that actually technically is a misplay, though. We should have done the uh, impulse first in case we got a deep root champion, uh, because we probably would have wanted to play that first, uh, for sure. But that's okay. Um, didn't expect to see this card though, uh, for sure. So it's probably just the amassed deck, uh, which is fine. Do we want to spell pierce this? I think we kind of do, just because it's probably not ever going to be relevant uh, any other time in the game. I mean, they are stuck on three lands, and maybe that's just what we're shooting for, uh, four lands. Um, so maybe we're just shooting to keep them off of lands. So we do get to Curious Obsession up this token here. Uh, start swinging in, hopefully drawing some useful cards. Uh, we do have very little land in the deck, so it's very possible we're going to get some kind of spell, uh, which is obviously what we want. And we get another Spell Pierce. I guess that's not terrible. Uh, depends, obviously, on what they've got, but, like, ugh. Um, do not want them to have lands, but that's okay. Oh, no, that's not good. Um, so we can Spell Pierce this, but there's really no point. That's just going to take them off of lands for the turn. I'd rather not do that. Well, I mean, I'd. that's fine, but I don't think that that's worth it. Um... Yeah, okay, so we'll dismissal this. It's a more expensive spell, and it doesn't have enter the battlefield uh, triggers. And then we will pass. Um, very possible they're going to re just replay that. Ooh, Blast Zone. Well, that's going to take out our token for sure. Um, they're definitely a slow deck, which is beneficial for us, but it really doesn't... I mean, this deck just doesn't seem fast enough to really deal with it, though. Um, we will not block. Unfortunately, there's just not much that this deck seems to be able to do. Um, we'll see, though. All right, let's Curious Obsession up this. We can't really attack, though. I mean, we can, I guess, and then just dive down it, but that just seems so bad. I do not like this deck, guys. I really don't like this deck. This deck was a mistake. Um, they're obviously just going to block here. And we're just doing this to keep dive down, or uh, the Curious Obsession on this. Very possible we shouldn't have even done this, because there's not really a point. <laughs> sure. Nothing happens. This just seems bad. Um... So what do they have? I mean, Blaststone's going to take care of the token, regardless, I think. Kevnet, yeah. We'll give it one draw, but there's no way we get out of this, I don't think, guys. We just don't have anything powerful enough to deal with it. Um, there's very little that this deck seems to be able to deal with. Um, 
I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really seem to do the aggro side of things well either, which is kind of the weird part of the whole all of this. Like, the mono blue version is just one hundred percent faster. Like, I mean, it's it was worth it was fun trying, but yeah, there's nothing we can do here, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, three game losses for the Simic aggro deck. I hate to be so negative. I do apologize, but this deck just didn't seem all that great uh, once we got into the games. Uh, it did seem kind of fair to, again, test it out, see what we could do with uh, a Simic aggro list versus Mono Blue. Unfortunately, it does not seem to be anywhere near as consistent. Uh, definitely playing around with land count, things like that might have something to do with it. Uh, it could very easily be that I was also misplaying it a little bit, uh, but I genuinely just don't think that it had enough legs to really go anywhere. So that's my opinion. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy the video and seeing me lose uh, to a lot of different decks, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Magic Arena video.